Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently there was a video which was released by CSIR National Aerospace Laboratory on its 63rd Foundation Day celebration with DRDO's chief G Satish Reddy as its chief guest. In that video you can see the wind tunnel model of various missiles and aircrafts. In the same video there was a missile between AMCA and NAG wind tunnel model regarding which not much is known. The missile is called supersonic target missile or star regarding which we are going to discuss in detail in today's video. The main objective behind developing this missile is to train the armed forces especially Indian Navy in detecting and defeating the supersonic anti-ship missiles which is very challenging due to earth horizon. STAR will act as a target drone similar to Banshee aerial target which TRDO has been using during various trials. Banshee is again a British target drone capable of reaching speed of 200 km per hour. Due to its lower speed, it cannot be used to simulate real-time aerial threats, especially missiles. DRDO's lab ADE has also developed Abhyas, a high-speed expendable aerial target or heat for the Indian Armed Forces. The radar cross-section of Abhyas as well as its visual and infrared signature can be augmented to simulate a variety of aircraft or anti-aircraft warfare practices and testing of surface-to-air missile system. It can also function as a jammer platform and decoy. However, Abhyas also has lesser speed that is Mach 0.5 with 2G turn capability which does not help to simulate the capabilities of latest missile. This is why DRDO needs a supersonic target missile such as STAR which can be used to practice and test various weapons and aerial defense system of armed forces in a realistic war-like situation. What is unique about STAR is that it is based on liquid fuel ramjet LFR engine. As we all know, even the BrahMos is powered by the LFR engine which is very effective when the need is to have more range, speed and endurance rather than acceleration and storage. STAR will be initially using a booster to accelerate and reach to a speed where the ramjet engine ignites after which the booster is ejected. In a way, we can say STAR as a mini BrahMos. With this, you can imagine how effective it is going to be for testing missile and aerial defense system because we all know the lethality of BrahMos. STAR is going to be a surface launched missile that will act as a supersonic target and can attain a maximum speed of Mach 2.4. It's primarily being designed for Indian Navy to practice and master defense against the latest anti-ship missiles such as MBDS famous Exocet and Chinese anti-ship missiles. The missile can demonstrate sea skimming cruise capability by flying as low as 12 feet above the sea surface. At the same time, it can also attain a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. Now talking about its development progress, at present STAR is going through wind tunnel testing by DRDO and same can be seen in the video released by NAL. It is expected that missile will be ready by 2023 or 24 for demonstrational trials. It's being speculated that once a STAR target drone is developed, an anti-ship missile based on STAR technology will also be developed for aircraft and ship based platforms. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.